So what is it like for an actor to go to an audition? You're at home watching TV, and then all of a sudden you look out the window, and you see this person skiing down a snowy mountain in mid-air. You're shocked, but you only feel it inside, and you don't say anything. So no bigger reactions, just show it in your eyes. And go. Uh, okay. Today I'm going to tell you about the typical audition process and take you to one along with me. Welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Joe, and I'm a Chinese actress living in Canada chasing the big dream of getting that Golden Man Oscar. Yeah, I said it again. I'm gonna get used to this more and more as I say it. Shame. So much shame. Auditions! The process where you go into the room, perform, and be judged whether or not you're suitable for this role compared to a hundred other actors who looks just like you. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> yeah. So more often than not, when you do receive your audition notice through your agent, you get that the day before your actual audition. If you're lucky, you may be able to get it two days ahead of time, but that is quite rare. That's why we're not able to work regular nine to five jobs, because we have to be available, and we're all stuck in a restaurant mourning over a useless degree. It's not because we're too stupid to get a job. Ugh. Artists are so misunderstood. In the email you receive, they will provide you some basic information such as the name of the role, the description, the rate of pay, the usage of the material, the callback dates, and the shoot dates. You will also have a call time, which is when you're expected to be present and ready to go into the waiting room, and the location and casting company of the audition. So there are two major types of auditions that you will encounter as an actor. Film and TV, or commercial auditions. So with film and TV auditions, you will be provided a script to memorize and there's a whole other process to that and I'll show you in another video. With commercial auditions, most often than not, you won't receive a script or directions until you're at the place for castings. This is because for a lot of commercial auditions, they just require some short, realistic, and most of the time improvised performance. Also, most likely, you won't know what the commercial is for. They usually give them a very general code name like Project Cup Holder. This is to protect the creative material and the possible new products that's being launched through this commercial. If there is a script, most casting plays will have their project script posted right at the sign-in desk, or the casting director will give you the context of the story or give you directions before you start your audition in the room. This can be something as simple as you're sitting on the couch and eating popcorn while watching TV, or take a bite of this chocolate and suddenly feel rejuvenated. When you go into the audition room, there usually is a camera, the casting assistant who is operating the camera, and the casting director. You do your slate in front of the camera, which is saying your name and your height most of the time, and then you perform according to the directions that the casting director gives you. Sometimes after you do your first take, the casting director will want another take from you, and maybe he or she will give you some other instructions like be a little bit more excited or be a little bit more natural as you do another take. When the casting director get what they need, that's pretty much it. You're done. So the major things that you can prepare for your typical commercial auditions are these. The costume, the makeup, be able to improvise and be malleable towards directions. And just relax, be professional, be yourself, and just have fun. So today my commercial audition is for the role of trendy, cool, hip, urban young women with cool attire. By the way, cool attire. I literally had to Google hip, urban women because I don't identify. Because you know, as a Chinese person, when I learned the word hip, it means the thing that I use to go in a very important When did hip become something you describe people? And why is that not something that is taught to me when I learn English? English is so weird, so hard to run. Now, before you judge me about using an accent, let me just say first, I grew up and spent most of my life in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Shanghai, and only came to Canada about seven years ago. And I absolutely, absolutely did, once in my life, had an accent. This accent, this accent right here, is developed after being continuously shamed by native English speakers. So don't tell me that I can't use my people's accent, because we have one, and I like it. 
And yes, such generic role requirements does happen often because sometimes the casting director do need to look at everyone before really feeling, exploring, and finding that perfect one for the role. They have a very difficult job that requires a massive amount of patience. I mean, can you imagine seeing 100 actors in one day trying to find that perfect fit? With the information that's given to me, here's what I know already. All of Vancouver's young, trendy female actresses from all ethnicities are going to be there. That in itself takes away my nerves because there's literally way too many people to compare myself to. Uh, I feel super sick as you can probably tell because my face looks half dead. <laughs> so, I guess today is the day where I will commence Operation Full Face Makeup. Because in the day and age of beauty influencers and makeup artists, young women have the capability of wearing pristine makeup every day. Let alone the trendy, cool, urban women. Show must go on, show must go on, yeah. This is a low budget production. I don't have the copyright to share this song. So I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Never mind. I can't do this for three minutes straight. I'm just gonna put a random song in there. On the first step, which is always having perfect skin, because God forbid anyone on TV has human skin. <laughs> and I'm gonna move on to contour. And I would like to first apologize to my fellow makeup artist friends. <laughs> I'm one of those lazier ones who will use the same brush for everything if I can. My goal is to come out of this looking half decent. blush <laughs> but I gotta say this this technique worked really well you know you just wipe it off and then all of a sudden it's a relatively clean brush and I'm just gonna get my setting powder okay I think I'm done uh 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 uh, I really want to blow my nose, but if I do, I'm just gonna ruin my makeup so I can't. Pineapple, 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 pineapple. <sighs> so one common thing that popped up when I was researching clothing for this role in Google is tight pants and relatively loose top with high quality fabric. So here's my general equation for clothing. The decrease in general comfort equals an increase in aesthetic attractiveness. Right now, my general comfort is about a 5 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. Ugh, whoever thought these circulation disruptive tight pants design is a good idea. So this is what I came up with. Tight pants and relatively loose shirt. And I'm gonna wear thigh high boots later on as well. So it's simple enough to not take away the attention from my face, which is where the acting will be. But it's also decent enough where if you go to a clothing boutique store, you're not gonna get kicked out. Oh yeah, I know you're judging me. Because the tone of your voice whenever I come to a shop highly depends on what I'm wearing. <laughs> so here I go. I'm gonna take my headshot and resume with me and head to audition. I'll update you guys when I come back. Yeah, I kind of get why people love tight pants. I mean... It does look pretty nice, but still not very comfortable. <laughs> so this is the part where I don't know what kind of music to put in and I'm just gonna narrate to you what's happening. 
here is a sign to point me to the right direction for idiots like me who can't find their way to places. And as you can see, my excellent camera work is leading me to the sign-in desk with the sign-in sheet. And here's the waiting part. This is the part where I act like I'm playing a game on my phone while I'm just secretly recording this room. Because I'm way too ashamed to just hold it up and record everybody. Yep. Oh yeah, and now I'm out. Yes, I have teleported myself out of the audition room I just finished. Yes, and I'm just gonna show you these random clips of this beautiful place called Gaston. Oh look, it's a clock. It's a clock with steam coming out of it. Yes, indeed. All right, so I just came back home from the audition and I'll update you with how it went. How long did I have to wait there and was there a lot of people in the waiting room? Yeah, it was a really full waiting room and no one looks like anyone. <laughs> it was a very diverse room with all ethnicities. And they also had the male actors come in at the same time with the female actors. I didn't have to wait a long time. I sat there maybe for about 10 minutes. It was a very quick in and quick out process. But there was no script. It was an in-person instruction. Uh, where the casting assistant came into the waiting room and just announced to all of us that we're gonna go into the room We're gonna say our name do our slate with our hands into the camera And then we're gonna tell a significant Christmas story. That's very memorable for us. That was it Going into an audition room was simple as well. Four actors went in at the same time They just went one by one doing slates then the first person will start talking about their uh, quick Christmas story. It only takes about two lines or three lines, and then it was my turn. Pretty random. But my Christmas story was that uh, I'm a really bad drinker. Because I'm an Asian woman, are you surprised? My parents thought it would be a really good idea to train my tolerance for alcohol by having a drink with them every single time I see them. I still, I still am the one-shot wonder, if you may. I'm sure one day my parents' effort would defeat my genetic vulnerability towards alcohol. How I felt about the audition? Ah, it was good! You know, there's really nothing to compare it to. <laughs> the casting director laughed on my story, it was nice, it was just a very, very casual casting room experience. And yes, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you go into the casting room and all they want to hear is just a couple of lines about yourself or just about an interesting story. Basically, they want to see your personality, they want to see how you present yourself in front of camera. So there was really no pressure or expectations. I definitely don't feel like I would have done anything different in the audition room. So that's it. That was today's commercial audition and I'm just gonna leave everything in the room. If I get a call back, great. If I don't, oh, up to the next one. One of the worst and bizarre audition experience I have is also with a commercial audition. So as per usual with the commercial audition, I walked into the room, I wasn't given any script until I went into the audition room where only the casting assistant was there, who was also operating the camera, and he gave me these exact instructions. You're at home watching TV, and then all of a sudden you look out the window and you see this person skiing down a snowy mountain in midair. You're shocked, but you only feel it inside, and you don't say anything. So no bigger reactions, just show it in your eyes. And go. Uh, okay. Uh, so feeling incredibly confused by instructions, I went. <laughs> he, then, <laughs> he then said, try giving me a little bit more emotions <laughs> while trying to hold his laughter in. And then for the second take, I went. And the casting assistant couldn't couldn't control his laughter anymore. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't I didn't get that job. To this day, I still honestly have no idea what they were looking for. So now that you've had a glimpse of what it's like to audition as a regular actor, is this what you expected? Let me know what you think. And for my fellow actor friends out there, what is one of your most memorable audition experiences? Can be good, can be bad. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and want to follow me on my journey while I paddle through the wave of Asian representation with my tiny T-Rex arms, click like and subscribe and the notification button. I post a video every Friday at noon and I'll see you next week. Bye! My face is covered in makeup and my pores can barely breathe. I just put these pants on and I want to be set free. That's a, that's when you know you've been in theater for too long. Just, it's way too long. Theater!